All right, guys, what's going on? We're back today with something different. Um, for about maybe a week, I had on all of the social medias that we're going to do a Q&A. Um, a lot of people mainly on Facebook um, sent in a lot of qu questions. Um, surprisingly, there was no one, there's none on Twitter. There's about two. Yeah two on Instagram and two on Snapchat. So we know where the big draw is, it's Facebook. Um, so if I sound a little weird, it's because I'm kind of dealing with a sinus infection. But anyways, let's get into it. Uh, first question, Coaster Media on Instagram. Hi, Thomas. He wants to know what's my fi my favorite five smaller coaster youtube channels uh for me a smaller youtube channel is 1000 subs or less so and this is not including any of my friends like tony coaster guy 101 josh at fye coasters brandon at coasters worldwide thomas coaster media um none of those guys are on this list um so basically my my favorite five are uh coaster fan coaster master media California Coaster Kings, Insane Coasters, and Theme Park Guy Productions. I like what they're put. They've been putting out here recently, and some of their videos. So yeah, that's my uh, top five smaller YouTube channels. Uh, Noah on Facebook wants to know what is my favorite ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. I hate to break it to you, Noah. I have not been to Six Flags Fiesta Texas yet. I want to get down there for Wonder Woman, but it's not looking like I'm going to be able to get down there maybe next year. Um, but as of right now, I haven't been there. I want to get there, but it just hasn't happened yet. Uh, Tom on Facebook. What is the future of Intamin, especially here in the U.S.? I don't work for the company. I'm just saying that now. Um, I wish I did. Um, I hope that they come out with some new rides. I mean, they've caught, they've came back into the U.S. and did some work with, um, I think it's Wavebreaker at SeaWorld San Antonio. I th believe that's the last Intamin coaster to be in the United States, though. Um, I hope they can make a comeback. I hope they become reliable. That's the bit. That's the big thing. That's why. I, that's why I think B B and M took over the Gigas for Cedar Fair because B and M's more reliable than Intamin. If Intamin can prove that they're reliable and not have to have track work done or anything like they did for Maverick and Intimidator 305, I would imagine that more and more parks would get Intamins. Like, especially, I want to see Mega Lights. Mega Lights in the U.S. sounds perfect. Uh, Coaster Guy 101. Hi, Tony. Uh, on Facebook, he wants to know, what really got you into the coasters and in industry? Well, it all started with a simple game called Roller Coaster Tycoon. I didn't have the first one, I had the second one. I had the triple throw pack. Uh, I'm pretty sure I spent about a good 360 hours in that game. I know right now I've looked uh, I've looked on Steam because I re I rebought it like two year two and a half years ago. I've got 280 hours played in it, and that's about. Uh, eight days so yeah it's a good it's a great game um as far as the industry wise um i think it was just i did take a backstage tour of the beast before they did coaster stock where um you uh it's like 15 dollars and you go back all the proceeds went to charity this is like in august when they had when they had a kicks or cancer and anything and we went back and we were just talking with the tour guide and everything. It was just me and my dad and my sister just talking to the tour guide and everything. And I think that's what really sparked it. Because he said, oh, you could go down to Batavia and see uh, all the different B&M track and all different colors in the winter. It's like, oh, that's kind of cool. And I think that's what got me in the industry. Uh, Jonathan on Facebook wants to know my favorite ride and favorite park. I think my favorite ride... I think that's a tie between three, three rides. 
Fury 325, Afterburn at Carowinds, so two, two at Carowinds, and Maverick at Cedar Point. Um, favorite park? I want to say Kings Island because that's my home park, and I've been there for almost all of my life, but I don't want to say Kings Island. Uh, and I don't want to say Walt Disney World because I didn't, I didn't like my stay at Walt Disney World, but I liked what it was. Um, I'm going to have to say King's Dominion, mainly because it's almost like King's Island, but they've got so much stuff different, but it's still got that same feel. I, I, yeah, we're just going to go with King's Dominion. Um, Josh, FYE Coasters. Hey, Josh. Uh, what is your dream park road trip you wish you could go on? I would say start in Florida and work your way up the East Coast. So you get SeaWorld, Universal, um, Disney, Fun Spots, Bush Gardens. Then when you go up the coast, you get Carowinds. Um, you can hit Family Kingdom, which has only got two roller coasters, but still. Family Kingdom and Myrtle Beach. Um, Carowinds, Family Kingdom, go up north. You got um, going even farther north. You got Kings Dominion, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, um, Six Flags America, Six Flags Great Adventure, Six Flags New England. All those parks along the East Coast, I think that would be really cool. Um, or if I wanted to, Go to California and just work your way through. I mean, they've got a ton of amusement parks out there. Some big, some small. Who, who cares? They're roller coasters. Uh, Evan on Instagram. This this one hits hard. What was it like working at Mystic Timbers? Um, as some of you know, I worked at Mystic Timbers up until July of 2017. I was part of the inaugural crew. Inaugural crew. Um, it was cool. I mean, you got to you got to see what the ride was like before anybody else. Um, unfortunately, I did not get to ride it before anyone else. The first time I rode it was the um, charity event, which was kind of a bummer because they was they told us like, oh yeah, you guys can ride it, and then GCI still had to ride, so we didn't get, we didn't we never got to ride it. And my first time riding it was actually um, for the charity event. I actually, I wanted Mystic Timbers before I went to Dollywood with Josh. I wanted Mystic Timbers to be my first GCI. Well, they didn't let us on or anything. And so Thunderhead was my first GCI. Uh, so, yeah, working at Keep Mystic Timbers, it was great. Um, we, we proved GCI wrong about two or three different times. Uh, the first time was they said, oh, you can get, only get, like, 32 cycles an hour. Well, we got 41 and 43 in an hour. That is so fast. The train has to be ready, checked and everything, before the other train leaves the lift. And still with that being said, after that train leaves the lift, until they fixed it, we had 10 seconds after that train left the lift that we couldn't send that train. They bummed it down to 7. I think it got as low as 5. I can't. I think that was after I had left, but the train would have to be ready before the train would exit the lift, and then 10 seconds after that, we could send the train. So you imagine how fast we would have to go. Um, Brandon, I'm pretty sure this is Brandon, uh, Coasters Worldwide. Delete, brother. Brother Nero. Uh, what is one bucket list coaster? Whew. It's either King to Ka. I can't say Lightning Rod or Fury because I've rode them. Um, I'm going to go with like three. King to Ka, El Toro. And there's one more. Gold Strike. Or, um, shit can't think of the name uh ghost rider 
Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm. That would be kind of fun. Uh, Landon, longtime friend of mine on Facebook. What kind of coaster do you want Kings Island to build next? <laughs> well, I want them to build a Giga by P&M. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. I want them to build a coaster by B&M, a Giga. Along the lines of Fury, but a little bit longer, a little bit taller, a little bit faster. Uh, just with all those swooping turns and everything. And they have all the terrain in the back that they can use with that. Uh, that would be great. Um, Chad. Oh, Chad. Why is Shivering Timbers your favorite Woody? Well, Chad, I hate to break it to you. Shivering Timbers is like my third or fourth. My favorite Woody is Lightning Rod. Light, uh, my top five Woodies would have to go Lightning Rod, Voyage, Beast, Mystic Timbers, Shivering Timbers. Uh, ben. Oh, why does Cedar Point have better operations at Kings Island? I don't know. Um, it might be... I know all the people up at Cedar Point, they have to be over 18 to work there. So I imagine that might be something because of availability. So you're not just like at Kings Island where you have 16-year-olds, 16 through however old. You, some days you'll just have like on a school day in April or late April, early May. You'll only get about five or six people in for that whole day. So you'd have to work breaks and everything like that. I think that's the only re the only difference. Um, and Cedar and Kings Island does a lot different operations than Cedar Point. Like Cedar Point with Raptor, you go across the row and then you cross over, go back to the row. Banshee, you check two, you go to two, you go to two. And you don't cross over, which I, I find that kind of weird, but I didn't create safety guides and anything. Uh, Jillian. Why does one like roller coasters? It's just... I want to say... It's fun. I mean... Um, it's fun to like just travel. And... It's fun to just travel and everything. And go to new places. Go to see different things. But along with that... I mean you're meeting new friends. Um... You're doing something you like, you're passionate about. Like I like tra I like traveling more now than I used to. I like um getting out there. Um uh, as you could tell by this, I'm talking more on camera. Like my vlogs, you can you can scroll up, they're in a playlist. Uh they're usually about a minute minute to two minutes long, except for the Dolly ones that were like six minutes long with the coaster uh reactions to it, but I think that's just like, because I like to travel and everything, so I think that's why I like roller coasters. Uh, Cameron, who is your favorite person when you worked at Flume? Uh, for those of you who don't know, before I worked at Mystic Timbers, I worked at the Log Flume, Race Free Life Charlie Brown at Kings Island for two years. I started back in 2015. Um... Sorry, Cameron, you're not going to win this vote. Um, I'd have to say my uh, my best friend, Brittany. Because no matter what... Actually, it's Brittany, Cameron, and Connor. Mainly because with those three, uh, no matter what, with working at Flume or Linus Entre, which we worked that little flat ride to, um, the dabbing contest, everything... Uh, and even if it was outside of work, like going to uh, go-kart place, everything like that, hanging out, going to Chipotle. So, yeah. Uh, Christian, what do you think Michigan's Adventure is going to put on that free land right next to Shivering Timbers? Oh, buddy. There's a lot of things you could fit there. Um, do I ever think that land could be used? Possibly. I could see it. Will Cedar Fair ever invest the money? No, because they're not open that often. Uh, they're only they only open like Memorial Day through Labor Day. Um, I'd like to see a new roller coaster there. I mean, the last roller coaster they got was Thunderhawk in two thousand and eight. Um, 
I know it's not all open or free land. It's, uh, I know the train goes all the way through there because I remember seeing it on Shivering Timbers and there's a train shed back there too. Um, I'd like to see a new roller coaster, but that whole park could use a little sprucing up. I could see why sometimes it doesn't get as much attention as it needs to. I mean, there was just like foliage and everything that just needed to be trimmed like bushes. Really? It's not that hard to just take a, a trimmer and go all across it and trim them up and make, make them look nice. Uh, last one, Coaster Enthusiast. He's new. Um, actually, it's Coaster Enthusiast Vaughn. Go follow him on Instagram. He's new to the community and everything. He's new to getting all the events and everything. He's a good friend of mine. How do you get into special events and, and gain followers? Um, the followers, I just post pictures, videos, and everything. Uh, sometimes I use hashtags. Sometimes I don't on Instagram and all that. Uh, special events. The only special event that I have not paid a ticket for was Keys to the Kingdom, which I got invited through that with Theme Park Review, which I was a part of for a while. Um, other than that, like la the last rides at Kentucky Kingdom, that was a public that was a public event uh, put on by Travis with the Coaster Casters. Uh, coaster Stock was put on by Kings Island. Coaster Kids Day was put on by Coaster Kids at Kentucky Kingdom, which, by the way, if they ever do those events again at Kentucky Kingdom, please, if you are in the area, go to them. They put out a great event. Not only do you get, um, I mean, for $20, I think it was about 20 somewhere in between $20 and $30, you got ERT in the morning and ERT in the evening. Some, well, for Coaster Kids, you had ERT in the evening and ERT in the morning, um, you get a lunch. Uh, Mr. Hart came out and talked to us both times at both events. Um, like with the last rides, we learned that that day we got a park tour. We didn't go any any uh, back places. We just were all throughout the park. Um, we learned stuff new, like Storm Chaser. Last year in 2016, when it was brand new, they were they started off with the steel wheels, and then they got the polyurethane wheels. And they put them on, but they didn't do anything right, so it was running a little slow. Well, as Mark had told us during the tour, they did some of the polyurethane wheels that they were supposed to do last year. So the way Storm Chaser is riding, or the way Storm Chaser was riding in 2017 was the way it was supposed to ride in 2016. But they didn't fix this polyurethane wheels, so it wasn't running like it should be. Uh, it was also when we found out Enterprise was going to be removed. But now it's getting replaced with another Enterprise, which is nice. Uh, I've heard great things about um, Catwoman's Whip down at Six Flags. I think it's over Texas and how great it is. So, yeah, uh, that's going to do it, guys. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments below. I will answer them the best that I can. Don't leave stupid ones. Like, there's some that I left out on Facebook that some were just like, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know the answer to that one. Uh, just smart, smart questions. Leave them down in the comments below. Um, and I will catch you guys out on the hills. Have fun.